Hi, my name's Matt Millerton. Uh, I work for the Brisbane Broncos as the uh, gear steward. And I've been here for 25 years. A typical week um, consists of me making sure everything's ready to go for the players before training. On, on Tuesday, I'll find out the team and, and then I'll start making up the jerseys if it's a home game or an away game. So Darren Lockyer, great debut in 95, uh, which is around the same time uh, Matty Middleton came to the club. Then I ended up playing 355 games for the club. Lockyer just... Yeah, I, I saw him finish, say, start his career and finish it. The best word to describe Mido is selfless. He's always done things in the background that, from the public's perspective looking in, they might not see it. It's not about him getting um, self-praise, it's about him feeling like he's contributed to the Broncos' way. No, I, I'd, I'd like to help because um, yeah, I'm part of this awesome club. Well, that th thing that, that, that I get out of it and, and, and what makes me a better person. Nothing's ever a drama for him. Uh, he just wants to do what he wants to do his job and give every player and the club the best opportunity for success. Now, if you look at all the values the Broncos have, and you know, Middle, Middle lives them, and he, uh, you can see that by the way he behaves. I enjoy having, like, I, I love having like, anyone, um, especially the Broncos, um, for, for uh, making me who I am. Because I, like, I, I love the team. Like, I, I love them more than the team and more than the business, like yeah, the family. There's, there's multiple things that when I think about Mido and I, I think about the times after the team song where he's jumped out of a wheelie bin or, you know, I'll ever, whenever I see Mid Dog, he calls me Lot Dog, I call him Mid Dog whenever I see him. I, you know, say day and, and ask him what's going on in life and, you know, he gets, he still gets, I think he still gets a little bit nervous around people, but compared to where he was 25 years ago, it's, it's great to see him. I enjoy his company and everyone enjoys his stories. I think it was like 2008 or 2007, um, uh, we had a home game here. I get um, a message from Wayne saying, oh, Maddie, one of the players have left their shoes behind. I'm thinking, oh, okay. And, and this is 40 minutes before the game. So, <laughs> and I, I had to jump in a cab to, to jump back to the club, race back to the club and, and grab a pair of new, new, pair of new boots for, for that player, for, for that game. And, and then the player then was whinging about new boots. I've always given praise to him publicly because I think it's, um, it's deserved. You know, I know he gets embarrassed by it, but I think the more people we can have like Matthew Middleton in our organisation, the better we're going to be. You know, I wouldn't have been able to be the player I was. The Broncos wouldn't have been able to be the club they could be uh, if it wasn't for the efforts of Matt Middleton. Like, you know, love, him, love the man for who he is, is um, when he retired, he, um, I got a gift from him, and, and it was a um, it was like a um, a moulded trophy of his boot, which he um, he gave only special people to, and, and he gave me one of those as a gift, and it it, you know, it blew me away, and I've got it on my um, bookshelf at home. 